Hi, this is Greg from Panhandle 3D Printing. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at some terrain from Andrew Askedal, and this is from the Warlayer 4 Kickstarter. Uh, the campaign has about a week to go, so this is like an 11th hour video on there just because it's been a super busy time. But I wanted to get a few pieces printed and put on the table, so if you've been on the fence about getting on this Kickstarter, maybe this will push you over the top, and he's a great guy to support. The price is definitely right on this stuff, and the designs are fantastic. And so what Andrew did on this one is he made some modular terrain that doesn't require any clips, and so it's using this post system Throughout most of the kicks and yeah, throughout the Kickstarter, this using this. So his terrain is modular in uh, when you print it, and it uses a post system. And each one of these posts has a groove on it. And I'll pop off lots of pictures and stuff like that because he's got some really good pictures on how this clip system works. But you slide the panels down inside these posts, and then you can these panels can make a building, and these buildings can be stacked on top of other buildings, and then terrain can be put on top of those buildings. And when you're done for the day, if you want, you can disassemble it all, or you can leave it built and put it away in your bucket. Um, it's got this really nice looking industrial feel and a bonus on this campaign that, that I haven't printed any because it wasn't in the folder when I first got the stuff, but it is now, um, is there's also gonna be a fantasy variant of this train. So I'm pretty excited for that and I'll definitely make sure I round, I'll loop back around again with some fantasy pieces on this down the road. Um, but one of the, you know, I just wanted to get this on the table and just show you, you know, the, some variants that I put together on here and just show you some of the modularity of this terrain. I mean, this is really good. I mean, this is really good terrain. If you look at um, his system is built on a half inch grid system. So you can, you can pop the roof off like this if you want to change the roof out. You know, this is one style of roof. And, it, you know, it just sits right in here on the top like that. You know, it's a really quick change system. You've got, if you can look at the different type of panels that you can print, and I only printed a few of the variants of the panels because his folder is chock full and it was like panel overload at the beginning on what I was going to print. But if you look, you know, like if I flip this around, this industrial girder variant right there on the back, how it all stacks and flows together really nice. So it'll look good on your gaming table. Um, but Andrew has a ton of files, tons of panel variants, roof variants, uh, different lengths, you know. Uh, this is like the one, this is like a one by one is what I'm calling. I think that's how the file nomenclature goes. And then down here, this would be a one by two. So this is like two panels long. And then this is also over here, you got a third. Um, this, this would be the two by two. This is the two by one and then a one by one up there. And so you can make some pretty big buildings. And as you can see from this 40K piece I had sitting behind a building, it also does some pretty good obscuring cover that you have on there. Um, his, his clip system, uh, some of them have posts on the top so that when you stack them in, you can stack another building right here on top. So like, I'm, it's probably hard to tell on here, but this is one of the buildings that has a post system. I mean, the little posts on top. And then the other ones on the bottom, like this one down here, these are flat. So I had just grabbed a bunch of different random files and printed them off on here. But I was super happy with how this looks. Um, he also has some scatter terrain that goes with it on here. And then, you know, it's just not square either. He has round, you know, I just made the tanks on there really quick, but he has curved walls, he has ruined walls, he has angled walls. He just put up the balconies this week that he's doing on there. And probably one of the things you're gonna ask, you know, you got all those files and what am I gonna build? Well, what's great and something that I've been, you know, asking him for for a while and he's gone around and he said, oh yeah, definitely gonna do that, is he's gonna make a build guide. Well, he's actually working on the build guide. And so he's gonna give some example buildings and you're gonna have a print list. I call them like a recipe, you know, for getting stuff to print. And um, it's gonna give you something to start with. So like me, I like to look at something and then kind of build it. I'm not super artistic into, I can look at a bunch of flat tiles and say, oh, here's this giant building that I'm gonna make. But if I can see something once or twice and you get down, okay, I made this. All right, now I wanna make this, but with these panels or I wanna make it longer and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a really, really good system. And 
Yeah, it really is infinitely expandable, you know, vertically and horizontally. You're just limited by your table space, really, and how high you want to go on your, you know, on your gaming table. But it does provide very good cover on the table. You saw right there with just two buildings stacked up, you know, he was sitting there behind it. You know, and that's an, one of the 40K uh, figures right there. And uh, this is the larger tank. I didn't print the roof on it, so I just did the just did the outline. You know, and it snaps together just with the four posts, and it has the longer, you know, curved shells on it and stuff like that. This is how I printed at the end. So this is, you know, these things print vertical. Um, so here's your here's four walls, and there's a, a doorway in this one right here. And I put a brim around these at the bottom. You know, you see right there. You know, just to make sure that when I leave for the day and I came back that they were still there. If I would do this again, I definitely I would, would put the little a light brim around the walls. But the pegs are pretty solid. Um, that way I don't have to pick that brim out of the bottom of the peg and it keeps that channel nice and clear. So like on this here, I would definitely print the walls, but I would print build plates of the, the posts by themselves. But either way, however you like to do it, I was just showing you how you know, I printed one of the last sets. And pretty much this is a complete building right here. And then I would just grab a roof and put it on top. So, oh, what else can we talk about on here? So, it's very much just to give you a look at some of the stuff that's in here. So, this is like one of the big roofs. So, if you look, it's just four posts on the corner. And technically, I could take and keep going with the walls, you know down like this and then start stacking higher and vertical and there's some pictures he has on the kickstarter page that you know like i said i'll be flashing in here and it's just it's just really good terrain you know it's um you know you can you can push it right back apart you know like this and you know if i wanted to take this side off over here and then pull the the clip out he has different clip uh tolerances so this is like the standard clip that I have on this building right here. Um, he has one that's like a tighter clip, which I think is over on, I printed on this building here. And trust me, it's tight. You know, I'm, I would have to definitely push to get that one apart. But if you want, you know, that it went together, you know, pretty easy. And the, these came right off the printer. So the tolerances are really nice. And so if you wanted to swap out a wall, you can just pull that out, put a wall in here with a doorway, and you're good to go. You know, throw the roof back on really quick. You know, put a top module on there with the fan. You know, you can put some scatter terrain up on top. I can come over here, and if I don't like this roof, I can pop this roof off. I can grab a different roof like this. I can take and put this in here. Lock that down in like that. I could put that up on top. So as you see, as you get going, you, your terrain can go vertical pretty quick. You can make some hab buildings. He's got containers, you know, for industrial containers that are modular that you can build. And so I'm really excited to see how this system fleshes out. Um, he's done such a good job with this, you know. And like Andrew's been here, you know, he was the first kickstarter terrain video i did i don't do many of them anymore just because of time um you know there's just never enough time in the day to do all this stuff but the, the this is really nice so i believe that the all in let me check really quick i think it's 50 dollars, which is ridiculous um when you, in terms of what you're getting from this campaign it's re it's really good um you might see me back here messing around with this roof a little bit that's just because you can put your fingers underneath like this is printed with the looser clip and so there we go just and you can get it down and it just snaps right in yeah you could put this right here in the center if you wanted it you could pop this roof back out and put the flat roof back in let me get this in here like this and then basically Lock that down in. I could put a piece of scatter terrain up top. You know, and, and so, like I said, he's doing shipping containers. He's got the curve pieces. He's got a whole fantasy line in here that's not even in part of this video, but there'll definitely be a picture. Um, what else we got? Uh, 
there's just a lot of files, you know. And so I know this is right towards the end of the campaign. He's closing in on 700 backers on there. So he's a great guy. He's on Facebook. There's a Warlayer Facebook group. If you're not part of that, definitely join it if you have some interest in this. Um, these kind of have-looking containers are really nice. Um, and, yeah, it, it's neat to see what some people are coming up with. You know, uh, Richter Scale Studios, he's done some great prints of this stuff, too, on his page and, um, you know, things like that. So I see a lot of guys that are doing some really nice stuff. But I just wanted to get this out to where you can see it really quick. I know this is a shorter video, but it's kind of towards the, the end of the campaign. And so still have to edit it up and stuff like that. But, um, again, you know, if you want to see what... Here's a couple 40K figs, you know, some old school assault squad, you know, sits right there on top. You know, the so if you're if you're wondering about your heroic scale miniatures, they're gonna look great. If I put this in the back corner, you know, they easily fit right around the edge. Your Primaris Marines and stuff like that will fit on there just fine also. You know, and like at the beginning, if you're wondering about height, then you wanna be able to get some blocking terrain for some of your vehicles easily done so the train all prints vertical he's got the active campaign going on right now it's closing in on fifty thousand. he's got a bunch of scratch goals open i'll just read off some of them really quick I'll scroll down to it um he's got customizable signs he's got modular ramps which he just finished the design on so your characters will actually be able to walk up the ramp and not slide off them back down onto the ground or not be able to stand on them at all uh he's got tank traps he's got a wall crane he's got modular gothic roofs he's got a and at 50 grand is the roof satellite dish so it looks like that's the next stretch goal we're coming in on so it'd be really nice if andrew can finish off the campaign at hitting that goal and maybe another one beyond that. Um, he's a good guy. He's also throwing in, if you've been on my channel a while, I think the last video or the one before the last, you saw this sci-fi train right here. That's also included in the campaign, which is tremendous. Like I said in the last part, I said this was worth, to me, that this is a fantastic piece. This train, you can just come right over here and put it back together on there so you can see it's sturdy i mean it's not you know it the looser clips you know they may move a little bit if, but i mean i can pick up a piece of train and move it across the table so it's not like you're going to pick it up and it's just going to fall on the floor but you know the train set check out my last video on there this this piece is almost worth it by itself if you haven't had a chance to get it um he's got a website out there where you can look at some of the earlier campaign stuff the world layer one and two and there's some fantastic pieces in there also. And what's nice is his Warlayer system has evolved from that first campaign till now. And this definitely, he, he's hit the mark on this with this modular pieces. You know, I don't print a ton of modular terrain, but this is nice. You know, I'm looking forward to getting this out for Kill Team. Looking forward to getting this out for this industrial type city setting when we're playing a little 40K on the weekend. So it, it's, it's nice. You know, if your other game systems, you know, sci-fi systems and stuff like that, you know, we'll also be able to use this. And with the fantasy train aspect of it too, um, you know, you can use it in your RPG day. So there, there's a lot of functionality, you know. it From my standpoint, it, it's worth it just for the, you know, the industrial, but you're, you're getting the bonus of the, um, the fantasy, you're getting the train. There might be a couple other things in there too. Um, but this is great stuff. I mean, Andrew really, really did a good job. So I'm happy to be able to show it off a little bit. Definitely go check out the campaign page. Um, it's got about a week to go. If uh, you're watching this, maybe, maybe a little less when the video posts. But just like the first video, you know, it, he does good work. Yeah, and I think you'll be very happy with picking the, uh, the items up. So... So this is Greg from Panhandle 3D Printing. I thank you very much for watching the video, and we'll see you again next time.